if you like to draw a lot on your chart, they can sometimes become quite messy. And today I would like to show you how you can manage huge amounts of drawings on your chart in a very comfortable way inside TradingView. So uh, the way that you can do that is that you can go to the object tree, which is down here. And when you open it, you can see a list of all the visual objects that you have on screen. So it starts with the indicator at the bottom here, which has to be happens to be the beta. And then I have my relative strength indicator, and you can toggle them on and off from here, and you can also remove them from here. Toggling an indicator is the same thing as going down here and toggling the indicator. So that's that's the same thing that you're doing, but from a different different uh, place. And then we have some indicators that I'm not currently using. And at the end, uh, at the top of the tree, we have the actual graph itself, which you can turn on and off. And this can also be quite useful sometimes if you want to do certain things. But that's uh, for a different video. Anyway, let's start drawing on this chart. And uh, Hopefully, uh, we can make a lot of drawings really quickly here, so I can show you how it's how you can manage these drawings. So I'm going to draw out support using low volume nodes of my visible volume, visible range volume profile that you see here. So I'm just going to go through all the different uh, low volume nodes, uh, which basically are supports. So you can see that they have low volume nodes here. It's basically a quite a big one. <clears throat> this one here. And you can see how nicely the vo low volume nodes actually fit with the price action as well. And here you go, here's one. Possibly one right there. That's been violated too much. So, okay, so we have something Let's destroy it up here. So now we have all these lines. And what you can do now is you can go to the object tree, you can select the first one, hold down your shift key, and you select the last one. Now you can group these by pressing this button. And you just click once to rename it, and we call these uh, low volume nodes. And now I can hide all of these low volume nodes and uh, collapse that folder. You can also lock the folder so that uh, I think that you can you are unable to move these now. So these are locked now. You can't move them by mistake. All right, so let's keep that there. I'm going to unlock it for now. Let's draw some more things here. So let's take a look at if, at the recent price action and analyze for high volume nodes. So let's take this entire downtrend. And basically, we've got a high volume node here. So the high volume nodes are um, magnets for price. So uh, if this starts to go down a lot now, I'm uh, thinking that it might want to be drawn to this to this uh, high volume node possibly and also i want the price to stay above the high volume node so i'd like to draw that out so let's take a look at the recent trend the recent move and it's quite far down let's just copy this so the way i do that i just uh, i don't want to have the volume profile on all the time, it just makes a mess. So um, I, I use this red line instead. Let's group these two. And let me show you another way of grouping, grouping these. So you can press the first one. Now you hold down the command key on the Mac, and I guess it's control key on the PC. And pr press the second one, and you can see that I have a multiple selection now. So it's the same thing as selecting it in the object tree, but sometimes it's easier to select it from the actual chart. And now I can group those and rename it. You just press once and you wait a little bit. You don't need to double press it. 
and these are the high volume nodes. So I don't need to see those now. So let's uh, take these off. And let's do classical, uh, just, uh, just do classical support resistance. And make it black. So on here. Oops. And the way I copy this is I hold down my command key or the control key and just drag. So you select it, hold down command or control and just drag away and you get a new one. So that's really handy. So this one, actually, we I think we can put it here. I think we have some more relevance to that. Maybe even over here. That's enough. I think uh, you get the point. So now we call these, uh, let's group these. We can also right click on them and create a group from here. So let's just uh, call these uh, S R. So now we can hide those. And you can actually do this for multiple time frames as well. So let's say that you were to go into a different time frame and do much more minute drawings there. You could create a folder named after that time frame and you can just hide that or show that as you want. Another way that you can do the multiple time frame trick is that if we draw a trend line and we double click it and you go to the visibility, you can set which time frames here it's going to actually display on. So it's uh, visible only on certain time frames. I find that to be a little bit confusing sometimes, um, but that's another way you can do it. So um, let's also, let's do some more drawing on this chart. So let's look at uh, significant bars, events that are of importance. So I'm going to highlight uh, strong bars now first in green. So um, this was a strong bar. This was a strong bar. What else do we have? This was a strong bar. Okay, let's now highlight some weak bars in red. That was a weak bar and uh, it's bullish, but uh, it has a tail and has high volume. And we also got to move down from it. So it's a weak bar. This is definitely a weak bar coming up here. So uh, I think that'll be it for now. So let's take all these highlighters and group those and I'm going to show you another cool thing later on. Call these significant bars. Why are these important? You might ask. You might ask. So let me take another tool. Um, let's let's look at this bar, or actually this one. Let's see. Okay, so, okay, it's fine, it's green. So this was a strong bar, it gapped up and continued up after very little retracement on high volume. There was some weakness at the top, but it's still a pretty strong bar. I would have, I like, do like bodies more than gaps, because basically we have a low volume node here, but um, what will happen possibly is that price will enter this area and it will be defended uh, or if you don't like to look at it that way, it could be buyers that thought it was a good price here. They are willing to buy more at this price. So um, they will uh, buy again, possibly. So whenever you have uh, strong bars like that, it's always interesting to see how price behaves when reaching these bars. So this could still be sort of a shakeout and it might slow down, you might get momentum loss into this area. 
However, I don't think so because we had this high and then we tried to move higher on weak volume and then we had high volume on the way down. So we're probably starting something slightly larger. So, um, all right, let's delete that. So I'm thinking more towards, let's turn everything on now. I'm thinking more towards maybe this high volume node here or the support um, prior to it. But basically we're gonna remain bullish if we don't break this uh, too much. Okay, let's do some more drawing. Let's uh, draw channels as well. So um, let me draw a channel. And this channel is broken now. And group these. And um, I always do the same. I double click and you get that dialogue, which I will show you what it's for in a sec. Um, let's call this uh, channel, channels. So if you double click here, you get this um, dialogue, which enables you to change all of the selected elements at the same time. So that's quite handy. You can't do it from here, because if you double click to um, enter settings, you will select only this one. So it's very useful to do it from here. I think you might be able to double click, uh, right click and get it. Yeah, you can also right click if you have multiple selection. All right, so that's useful. So now we have all these. One thing worth, uh, worth noting is that you are not, it's not possible to have nested folders. If I try to select these folders and I create a group out of these, then it will flatten these into a single group. So I'm going to undo that. But this is a great way to manage a lot of charts and different indicators and uh, stuff like that. Uh, so uh, have fun with it and good luck.